Welcome back to the channel, ScooterATVSales.com at Scooter City Reno, bringing you some more tips on how to start my Chinese ATV, as well as we have a tips on if my ATV bogs down. And we have Adam here today. He's volunteered to throw out these tips. We're gonna start off with how to start my Chinese ATV. Now this is whether it's a Tao Tao or it's an Apollo SSR or any other Chinese brand. These would fundamentally be the same procedures on how to start your ATV. So go ahead there, I'm gonna hand it off to Adam. So basically you wanna make sure you got your lanyard in on your ATV, make sure your choke is outwards to start it. And then you want your brake is, uh, engaged and then hit your starter button, which is on this side on this guy. Okay, so that would be on the Apollo. Sometimes on some of the other Chinese ATVs, you could step on your right foot brake as well, right? Right. Okay, and then uh, what's where else is the uh, choke located on these uh, Chinese ATVs? So on these Chinese ATVs, since this is a Apollo 9, they're on the handlebar and then some like Tao Tao's and stuff like that, they have them right where the carburetor is. You just lift a, a little thing up. And... A brass lever over there, gold yeah. color lever. You're gonna lift that up, which is, uh, right here, located here. So you would lift it up for a choke on and then bring it back down once it warms up? Right. Okay, so always remember that, you guys. So if you haven't started your ATV in a while, remember there are starting procedures that need to be followed. That is, these procedures are to be followed as long as your battery is charged. Again, make sure you have your lanyard in, as Adam mentioned, your choke on the, uh, a lot of the Apollos, the choke is up here on the handlebar. Make sure that's on the on position. You warm it up while the choke is on and then slowly bring it back off into the off position and wait a couple more minutes and then you're ready to go. On some other brands, like a lot of the Tao Tao's, you'll have the gold lever over here or it could be a black lever. You bring it up for on choke and then bring it back down for off. So these are tips here that we wanna throw at you. And again, Adam mentioned to you, you got them both on the handlebars as well as you have it on the carburetor, this choke lever. Make sure your lanyard's in as well. Throw some gas into the carburetor and then give it a start. Now, if it's not starting, then let's just say we move over to, it does start, and then but it keeps bogging down for some reason or another. So different considerations. Now, if it's brand new, they haven't used it for a while, what would be the, uh, the problem there, Adam? So the problem is would be bad gas. And the bad gas goes into your carburetor into the float bowl and creates, uh, there's a little tarn, tarnish thing like uh, varnish, it'll smell. And then uh, basically it's time for a whole new carburetor. And then uh, it takes two eight millimeter bolts on the uh, Blazer 9 to get the carburetor off. And then you gotta take the air filter off. And then also change your uh, fuel filter while you're at it so you don't have any bad gas laying anywhere. Okay, so you know, Dismounting it from uh, the ATV itself is where you got your intake manifold, you got your air filter over here. You're gonna loosen these nuts over here and then remove your carburetor. Now when it's removed, of course, this is gonna look like this. Adam removed the bolt, and this is what it looks like inside you guys. And again, as he mentioned, a lot of the gas has additives in there, and if you haven't ridden it for a while, this gas and all the additives will start sticking up and gumming up your, uh, your carburetor. It's not even worth sometimes uh, depending on your time, your value, your time to uh, clean the jetting inside. Point out to them the jets here on this carburetor, the main and idle jet. So this is the main jet right here on the carburetor. And then this one that's lower down is the uh, pilot jet. Okay, your main jet there. Yeah. Okay, so you can remove those and shoot some uh, parts cleaner in there, carb cleaner and clean it out. But in most cases, these are so inexpensive, you can purchase these either at your local dealer or you can purchase them uh, online on Amazon or any other website. So replace the carburetor and that usually resolves a lot of the starting issues. A lot of times I've noticed too, Adam, like uh, a lot of customers won't change out the spark plug. That could be an issue as well. Right, some, so basically on some spark plugs, they'll uh, start getting really, really black around here and around the, the tip of it. And that, can, that cases can cause an issue. Okay. Not starting. Either that or uh, the spark plug went bad. Okay, so on ATVs, you can have an issue with the spark plug, issue with the uh, with your carburetor. Now, this generally these issues will 
will come about if it's sat for the longest time, you don't use it for the longest time. Again, that's also considering that your battery is fully charged, okay? So your battery is fully charged, you're starting it, and it's just, you're adding gas. Generally, you're gonna find out it bogs down either at idle or when you're adding throttle to it. Again, the throttle on these ATVs, it's on the right handlebar side right here. So you're adding throttle and it's just bogging down. So as Adam mentioned, dirty carburetor, spark plug, and I think last but not least, we found over time the uh, CDI box sometimes is not. Right, so basically the, uh, I have done this, especially on my own scooter where I'll go drive around and all of a sudden it starts fogging down. I go to change the CDI box and it fixes it. Okay, so that's an electrical box that controls the electrical current. Let's uh, grab one in one of our sample boxes to show what it, uh, it looks like, Adam. Right. So basically we have a bunch of them here, but on some of these they're they have like a little green connector. Okay. Some of them, sometimes they swap them out for a white one um, or a style like this. Okay, so it's a black box, you guys, and depending on your ATV, the manufacturer would use different types of CDI. Again, it controls your electrical system that's generated on your uh, stator system, which is the Edison to the alternator. All right, these are alternating current eight ATVs and it goes through your CDI. Now, if it's a weak or defective or dying CDI, this could affect the bogging down issues as well, making your ATV bog down. But uh, you wanna start with the basics first. Usually it's fuel delivery, carburation, spark plug. Again, this is also considering, again, we talked about initially how to start it. So once you make sure that you have all the procedures down on starting it, okay, then it starts, and then once it starts, it's bogging down. It's bogging down at idle. It's not idling properly, right? Or you're adding throttle to it, and it bogs down when you're adding throttle. Now, at times, too, as well, let's point out the, the isolator and gasket there on the intake manifold. So the isolator and the little rubber o-ring gasket is right here in between the carburetor and the intake manifold. It's just a little black piece, and then there's also one down here but it's like a flat paper one. Okay, so that's at the base of the, uh, the intake manifold right over here then. Right here at the base, and then you have the top area. So if these gaskets, you guys, are defective, they're allowing air, additional air to into the uh, car carburetor, then you'll also have some issues with it idling as well as bogging down. So any other additional tips you want to throw out here for, um, for our beginners out there? While we're talking about the intake manifold, sometimes the intake manifold from brand new, we've had this happen, where there was a pinhole in it creating an air leak. We replaced it and it fixed the issue. Okay, so these are some fundamental basic tips, you guys. Again, there could be other reasons why your ATV is not starting or it's bogging down. So, but these are the fundamentals to get you started before you decide to call your local dealer to make an appointment to have you guys like these videos like comment and subscribe i want to thank adam here for helping us out today not a problem throwing out these uh, additional tips you'll, you'll find us at scooteratvsales.com and you'll find us also on instagram at scooteratvsales take care and we'll see you guys soon